From now on, if you invite me and my wife to go out to eat, we're getting our own separate bill. For years, we have been duped in splitting bills with these people that eat like they're animals. People invite you out to eat on their cheat day. Invite me out to eat when you're on a fucking diet and you could eat like a fucking human being, okay? From the rip, I tell her, I'm not splitting this bill. Yeah. Because I'm not going to, this person's not going to drink 42 mimosas and then get up and say, oh, I got to go to the bathroom and I don't see him for two hours. <laughs> no, I'm cool. Nope. <laughs> Because you just never know how people are, especially if you're not familiar or they're not familiar with you. Like, you know, Tyra saying, people just be taking advantage because that's just crazy. Ain't no way in hell you think I'm supposed to pay if my stuff, I'm supposed to pay if my bill comes up to one fourth, I'm mm -hmm. supposed to pay half. Yeah, yeah, make sure y'all check us out on where is it? Amazon. Uh huh. Spotify. Okay. Uh -huh. YouTube Music. Uh huh. Apple Music. Mm -hmm. Hold up, am I missing anything, Los? Uh, no, Pandora. No. Yes, I am. Pandora. Pandora. Yeah. Okay, go oh, follow us. This join. You heard the woman. Honey Dip sent you. Yeah, I mean, so so shall we slide to the first video, man? First let's video. Go. Let's do it. All right, so we got the first video. Let me make sure I get everything straight. Be quiet. That was about to. Ooh, yeah. 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 We got a man that gives an example on why you shouldn't split the check when going out with friends. You Dude, shouldn't? Why you shouldn't split the check. I mean, let's see what he got to say, man. Let's, let's peanut crack this thing off. It's this Jump Podcast. Aww. Let's go. From now on, if you invite me and my wife to go out to eat, we're getting our own separate bill. For years, we have been duped in splitting bills with these people that eat like they're animals. People invite you out to eat on their cheat day. Invite me out to eat when you're on a fucking diet and you could eat like a fucking human being, okay? I don't eat, I don't go out to eat with big people neither. I'm sorry. If you're big, I'm not going with you, especially not splitting the bill. I had to put my foot down and set that boundary last night. We went out with one of her friends and her friend's husband. We have been to their house they live very modestly right the dude he barely drinks he does not own not one whiskey bottle in his house yesterday as soon as we sat down angelo's new york little italy the first thing that he orders oh can i have a blue label neat and i'm like oh shit this dude like a blue label neat we're going all out i'm fucking not i gotta drive an hour back home i'll just have some water and then later when the food comes i'm just gonna have a coke my wife had an espresso martini and the other woman had an espresso martini too too. Then 30 minutes in, we ordering appetizers. They order every fucking appetizer on the menu except the one that I wanted, mozzarella and carrosa. I didn't say a fucking thing. You know why? Because I realized that it's already $125 just on appetizers and this motherfucker's drink, all right? So I'm just calculating. And as everything is going on, I am shutting down as this dinner goes along, all right? And this dude gets a phone call and it's his friend. And he's telling his friend, oh, I'm at Angelo's if you want to pop by. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, I'm with my girl, but you know, we could hear him like he's on speaker you know like he's making it a scene this dude is super extra happy and my wife is not taking any of this into account the friend comes with the girl and they sit down and they start drinking right after they drink guess what happens they fucking leave Ah, huh? they leave. Who's no no one's paying for that, right? No one's paying. And this dude, they ordered three appetizers between him between him and his girl. They ordered they ordered three entrees, okay? Because they wanted to split uh, uh some some clams or some shit. I don't fucking remember. But me and my wife, we split one entree because we're little people. We don't eat a lot, especially when when we're talking about fifty dollar plates. It's unnecessary. It's too much fucking food. It's not like oh my god, you don't got it. It's like no, I got this level of stomach. I can't muster all that fucking food. When the bill is coming, like I, I'm realizing that everything is settling down, right? I go to the waiter by, by the entrance and I'm like, listen, dude, I need you to split the bill, okay? This entree, this drink for my wife and that woman, the, my wife's friend, she had another three fucking espresso martinis. I don't know what the fuck they were planning on doing afterwards, but they both wanted to be hype. I was ready to get the fuck out before I had to curse someone out, okay? So I told them to split the bill when he brings the bill right our bill was 89 dollars their bill 
with their shit and their friends was $390. So essentially, I was going to have to fork over 200 and something dollars plus fucking tip. No, senor, I wasn't going to do that. Today, this dude called me, oh, why did you split the bill? I'm like, because you're a piece of shit. How are you going to invite people over? They're going to fucking drink. You're eating all this food. You had one uh, 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 fucking blue label need that's, that was literally 40 bucks. I saw the bill, 40 bucks for, for two. I'm like, dude, you you doing you doing fucking too much? Oh no, I thought it was disrespectful. I didn't want to say anything in front of the women. I'm like, you should have said something in front of the women because I was dying to tell you something. I didn't want to ruin your fucking night, so I went and told the waiter separately, just split the bill because I don't want to have the fucking conversation in front of them because I'm gonna make this dude feel embarrassed. I didn't want to embarrass you in front of your woman because you're being fucking ridiculous. Oh no, I'm like, listen, fuck you. I'll never see you again. Now I don't know if I'm right, but I fucking think that I. I am and now my wife is gonna hear about it and she's gonna have a whole fucking conversation and it's gonna be an argument for the next fucking week but I'm pretty happy with myself because I saved about 150 to 200 dollars last night <laughs> hold on, hold on, he wait. saved nothing because wait. it wasn't his dang gonna be able to fit <laughs> hold on wait, wait hold on. before before I kick this off to y'all I want to say this my buddy my boy I'm not gonna say his name Dennis Robinson but this <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> when we even hang out man he same thing. He's ordered all these big drinks, like hundred dollar cognacs. I'm like, yeah, shit. I I tell my girl, hey, listen, we, <laughs> yeah, we paying our shit. I'm not paying for his his bill. Look, Fuck just like some people no. left, I would have loved to. Yeah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> see, you want to this off, bro? At first, when I saw this headline, I'm like, see, here we go with these people. <laughs> but after that story, I agree one thousand percent. At the end of the day, I'm not a cheap person, but I do believe in, you know, making stuff make sense. That's my favorite line. Make it make sense. How are you going to invite somebody who was not a part of the, the original uh, meeting invite? You just invite them. They come in. They <laughs> part drink. Of the original go out. Crew. Like what? And so I'm supposed to pay for people that a I don't know that sat here and then got up. Oh no, you tripping? Yeah, yep. take that four hundred and do something with it. Yep, Cause me and my wife, more. we go over here. I'm gonna pay my bill and I'm out. And guess what? <laughs> if we ever, cause you know women are, you know they like to forgive and all that. Oh, like was it was just one time. If we ever went out, guess what? I wouldn't order a goddamn thing. I would just no. Nah, yeah, I ain't I'm I ate, hungry. I ate before I got here. Yeah, my job. They had some leftover stuff. Nah, I'm, I'm, not, cool. I'm not thirsty. Meanwhile, I done told the waiter as soon as he paid for his. Bring mine out in the, in the bag. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Look, let me let me let me order to go. Let me go yeah, over to the counter and order to no. go. I, I don't want I don't want a pineapple juice. Let me get a water, bro. Yep. Yeah, I don't no. want that. <laughs> so, wait, so hold on, hold on, ladies. Listen, in the house we got El Boogie in the house. Shout out to El Boogie. El Boogie's in the house tonight. El Boogie. El Boogie in the house tonight. Oh, hold on. So what, 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 what did El Boogie say? What, what, what did he say? What did he say? So he said, I know exactly what he's talking about. He said, people be ordering drinks, apps, steaks, and crab legs and get short arms yep. when the bill come. F out of here. Yep. <laughs> El Boogie, you know who it is. Rob G's. <laughs> My man, Dennis Rob. So, <laughs> so, so what, which one? Is, uh, Tyra, so, Tyra, kick it off. So, Tyra. two things. Number one, of course, these people are taking advantage. Another thing yeah. is, I suspect, is they pocket watch. So they don't type uh, of people that's like, you know, they got it. They got it. Oh, look at that. You know, you see what they drive? Oh, yeah, they just bought this. You know, the white pirate's like, oh, such and such just bought that, blah, blah, blah. They pocket watch. Right. What? So they on that type stuff like, yeah, no, it's okay because they got it. They got the money. That's that's what that type of thing it is. That's what that is. But no, they shouldn't be taking advantage like that. Damn all that. We splitting all these checks, baby. I got me and my spouse. Y'all got whatever right. y'all got. Yeah. Right. Damn that. But yeah, right. They pocket watchers. That's what that is. That's why you got I always pull up in your Grand Am. <laughs> don't right. come, don't come in your Benz. Pull don't up in your Grand Am. Uh, yeah, I only got thirty-two dollars. If I gotta do all that, if I gotta do all that, then you don't, you not the, you not my type of crowd. So, mm -hmm. so wait a minute, just exactly. not my type of crowd. So, T hey, T Y. The T Y ain't getting the bill. That's the first yes, thing. T Y in the building. Yes. My fucking T Y, y'all. My fucking T Y. So wait a minute, T. Let me ask you something. Would you have let their friends leave without paying the bill? First I know, man. I'm like, oh, where the fuck you think you going? Right. Damn. But see, that's what I would have did. But at the end of the day, if they would have did that, then that's what I was saying. I would have just went and paid for, for my stuff and left too. Because at the end of the day, it's like, wait a minute. What makes you think we out here on a double date, my wife and your wife, 
it's two two different couples. Where does where does third leg come from? Then they just up and come out of nowhere. <laughs> like what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> then was like, all right, <laughs> see y'all two later. <laughs> hey, I mean. we catch y'all back at work. So yeah. like, <laughs> look, let's knock out these comments first. So so one comment says, "I'm on your side." That is ridiculous, especially when they invited two more friends out right. of pocket. Yeah, out of pocket. Uh, that is definitely uh, second comment. We split according to couples, household, not the table. Again, would you? I mean, eh, couples, my, household. Yeah, with my, with my good, good friends, let's just split this bill up and keep it moving. Like we just all gonna split it accordingly and keep it moving. But if it's people there that I've never dined with, and I've had this experience before, if it's people there that I've never dined with, I from the rip I tell them I'm not splitting this bill because yeah. I'm not gonna. This person's not gonna drink 42 mimosas and then get up and say oh, I gotta go to bathroom and I don't see him for two hours. <laughs> no, I'm cool. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Because uh, so. you just never know how people are, especially if you're not familiar or they're not familiar with you. Like, you know, Tyra's saying, people just be taking advantage because that's just crazy. Ain't no way in hell you think I'm supposed to pay. If my stuff, I'm supposed to pay. If my bill comes up to one fourth, I'm mm -hmm. supposed to pay half. Right. Like, no, that ain't cool. That's stupid. So we got. So last comment says, what does splitting the bill mean in USA? In Germany, when they say splitting the bill, it means everyone pay for what they had. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know what? I think it depends on the social setting. So I have different social friends. So let's just say I have a group of friends where if we go out, we ain't even thinking about it because, you know, our finances you know, are, yeah. are, are pretty similar. So it, if, if the bill comes up to like 500 and there's six of us, we splitting it equally six ways. Mm -hmm. But then I have a different type of social group of friends. Yeah, yeah, you know. Know. Ain't that some more? <laughs> Make sure you invite me to, to, to the first group of yeah. friends. Hey. So Not with them, the second. Not I gotta, we already know what it is. It's like, okay, whatever I buy, mm -hmm. look, this is what I had. <laughs> if, if I'm the one that's paying for it, like let's just say instead of, you know, everybody just splitting the bill i'm like all right yours was such and such or whatever just cash at me i know how much yours was you know how much yours was if we can't do that okay waiter can you please split the bill yeah. because so i'm yeah. not doing all that as soon as you see shaquiqui uh purchase that hookah you're like oh man <laughs> yeah, but see at the end of the day nine times out of ten that social group i don't really go out to it too much because it's always a big oh no but look, wait a minute yeah, don't embarrass no, me doing that. please don't embarrass yeah. me we out here to have a good time ain't nobody sitting here arguing over okay yeah mine was seventy dollars and sixteen cents Bitch, give me the eighty dollars. <laughs> right, right. It's sixty and count the six and everything. Wait, really? Listen, I'm, I'm like, this the last time I'm eating with y'all. I'm real. checking them before we even get there on the on the phone call. Do you got at least a hundred dollars? <laughs> if you don't got at least a hundred dollars, you That's stay shame home. That you stay home. Say yeah, that. I, That's listen, crazy. I, I know me. Ain't nobody getting up off that motherfucking tape. <laughs> Yo, ho, 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 bro. Where you going, bro? Right. Nah, come back here, dog. Let's go to the bathroom right quick. No, you Yo, you, you got to pay a bill. It. You got to hold that. Yeah, I mean, I'm look, you, you, got, you going to the bathroom? I'm Your wife is collateral, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Leave that hoe right here. Yeah, yeah. Like, hold up. Hold up. Give, me the, give me the car keys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leave that hoe right here, dog. Leave, leave the car yeah, keys. He ain't going nowhere. If she's going to be the third <laughs> occupant in my car, then maybe we can talk. But uh, if she going home with you, you got to uh, fork up that money, my man. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, this is your podcast. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Tell me what you think, goddammit. And we want to hear your response, man. <laughs>